Hi everyone. So as a follow on to the last video I posted, um, I've been given some more information on things to check on this um, faulty, potentially faulty SimiCube OSW. Um, been pointed to a troubleshooting guide at the Granite Devices um, site which says about measuring uh, the uh, resistance across the regen circuit, which they suspect is the cause of the problem. So in order to keep the previous video um, useful, uh, in case you've got the same problem, I'm gonna continue with my investigations um, in case that helps anybody else out at the same time. Okay, so there's two apparently two different types of board, uh, one R005 and a one R004. Um, not hundred percent sure how you tell which one that you got in terms of if there's any markings on it. So looking at this troubleshooting guide, I've got the one R005. I can tell that because the it's got this uh, resistor measuring, it says resistor measurement pads bit across here. And although it doesn't show the capacitor on this picture, it's just out of shot. So it must be the one that I need. Okay, so the first thing it asks you to do is to measure the resistance. It says here the X2 pad HV bus output to resistor input, which in layman's terms, is to measure the resistance between here and here on this green um, block. And it says it should be, if it's got a single resistor, well, mine's got two resistors, um, 2.35 ohms. So. Okay, so I'm gonna try again. Um, this is the day after the previous part of the video um, when I realised that testing this was kind of a bit tricky, f well not tricky as such but I was getting values that I wasn't happy with and I didn't know whether I was testing it right, whether my multimeter was wrong or whether I actually had a problem with the board. Um, so, and whilst editing the video today, I realized that actually I hadn't zoomed in far enough to uh, make it obvious where I was testing. So what I've done is I went and saw a electronics specialist friend of mine, old school friend, James, that runs his own design and build company for electronic components and I thought I'd get him to use his equipment and uh, experience to like, follow the instructions on the Granity website and um, test the resistances for me uh, to double check one that I was doing it right and two that whether my multi multimeter was reading right um, and at the end of this video there's going to be uh, some pictures um, showing the results um, from, from his multimeter. Um, and basically the resistance is a way out, so there's clearly something wrong. Um, but just to finish clarifying where you measure the resistance, um, in the instructions it says to measure between a resistor input and HV bus output, which confused me at the time because but the picture does point to it and actually to make it clear they have printed on the board uh, you know uh, the words HV bus output and resist input so hopefully in this part of the video it's clearer to see that you essentially you're measuring the resistance between that pin on the green block and the middle pin And then the second resistance that they ask you to measure, there's a little, hopefully it's clear, a little IC here. So they want you to measure 
from the essentially the solder that's on the back of it to this gold pad here and that's the second measurement that they asked for okay so thanks for watching the video I don't know if that's useful uh, I have obviously haven't solved my problems yet I should be going back to guarantee with these results and seeing what they suggest the next move is um, if you like the video obviously please like it if you like these sort of videos um, then please subscribe to the channel um, and you'll get notifications of when I do other videos and obviously when I find out what the actual problem with this and what the resolution is I'll post another video um, as an update so thanks until then thanks for watching the following pictures show the uh, results we got um, from the multimeter and the values that we got which are clearly clearly wrong. Cheers.